Hey guys, today I will be looking at the top 5 most inaccurate LEGO Star Wars sets, minifigures, or just general things about the theme. And these will of course be in my opinions, and if I've forgotten anything, please comment them down below. So without further ado, let's get into it. First inaccuracy is from the 75188 Resistance Bomber from 2017 which was then re-released in 2018 because of a minifigure difference. They got the Finch Dello minifigure completely wrong, as you can see here is the comparison. The helmet and the face was totally different, and they fixed that, which is really good to see. In fourth place is the Clone Trooper headpiece. Um, in the movies, they were played by Timur Morrison from New Zealand. And that darker skin tone was also used in the Clone Wars again. However, in the minifigure form, it is just this plain, normal white face. And yeah, it just doesn't really suit, so they should really change the face to have a definitely darker skin tone. The Clone Wars TV show also spent a lot of time humanising the clones, so perhaps we could see some differences um, with some different facial expressions. And perhaps some just different prints on the face with like some beards or moustaches, but other than that, yeah, I just really wish there was a darker skin tone and it would be way more accurate. In third place is the inaccuracy of LEGO's ATRT sizes, and they are just way too big, or even over two times the size of what they're meant to be. They have included some minifigure scale one, it's in some larger sets, but the ones that they sell for 30 US dollars is just too much. Um, we'd rather have a minifigure scale one that's more accurate, and they could even sell that for like $10. The LEGO really just needs to stop releasing ATRTs of this size. Second place inaccuracy is from the really old TIE Fighter sets, and they were in the blue markings, which was really strange. Um, Nowadays they have updated it to be the grey like they are in the movies and I just don't know why they did it in blue. It is so inaccurate and it just makes them look really bad. Um, if they were sold in grey I think that they would still be up to today's standards. In first place I had to put the 75104 Kylo Ren's Command Shuttle set. They updated the colour to be black in the new Rise of Skywalker one which is way better. And this one was in grey, which was so inaccurate. Um, the colouring, the general colouring of everything was so wrong. And the whole set was just bad in general. The set was just bad anyways. Mine just fell apart. I probably built it wrong. But still, it's kind of a bit strange about the colour. And yeah, I really regret get getting it. I did destroy it, and it does have some useful parts in it. And those were my picks for the top 5 LEGO Star Wars um, sets of minifigures that are so inaccurate. Um, if you have any other um, ideas for what the most inaccurate LEGO Star Wars things are, please comment them down below. However, that will be all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all, folks. Goodbye.